Now here is another example of little Chrissy Cuomo's hypocrisy. Could you imagine if the Trump family had been making 83000 from the crooked Ukrainians and cutting deals with the evil Chinese communists that are building a military for one purpose, to kill the United States, but the Clintons didn't care. And while they talk about Monica Lewinsky and the Clinton impeachment, that's the thing that never gets brought up, that the windy employment that Billy got from Monica, okay, is not half as bad or a millionth as bad as selling gyro guidance systems for the Chinese rocket program, which is really used for their guided missiles. So when you listen to this little diatribe, keep that in mind. In this moment, and what still matters to come. Next. Yeah, dangerous. Dangerous for you. This guy has a phallic problem with large Coke bottles. Because they're, sh- they're taller than he is. Little Mr. Bloombaum. Every time I see this guy, I think of an, uh, an angry, horny little schnauzer. Every time. I would just like go to 64 ounce Coke bottles and all around him and just laugh watching his head explode. Let's get perspective. Alan Lichtman and Joe Lockhart. It's good to have you both. Um, Professor, uh, first of all, would you like to reject my premise? Do you believe that this one gets remembered uniquely, or do they all blend together? They do. Now, let's look at Professor. Odd job. Look at this. Look at this little Vulcan. Look at this Cretan. This guy. If he's private consensual affair. Look at this guy. Blip. I think there were two. Prof- can you can you imagine this little monster on TV? This, look at this guy. Now, he's going to go on and talk about how this is different than Watergate. This is much more serious. This is hysterical. Listen to this. And keep in mind what the hunter, the Bidens, and the Hunter Biden did in Ukraine. And imagine what this little Bolshevik would be saying if the shoe was on the other foot and it was a Trump Republican Party in America. Donald Trump has trashed virtually every principle that the Republican Party has professed to stand for. Personal responsibility, personal morality gone, limited government, fiscal responsibility, states' rights gone, respect for traditional institutions gone. So what we're seeing here is the only thing Republicans have to fall back on is Trump. The second critical thing is this incredibly pernicious doctrine perpetrated by Alan Dershowitz, which lets the president off the hook, but subverts our democracy. And that is this idea that as long as he doesn't commit an indictable crime, a president can do anything he can. So, have you heard enough for this little cosmonaut? Trump has done egregious things to our republic? Trump. Not the Bidens, not the crooked Clintons, not the Obamas, Cash's a palace of cash going to our Iranian enemies. And by the way, Chris Cuomo looks like he's been crying all day. Little Chrissy, little Fredo. But little cosmonaut here, the little Klingon, spent a lot of time as a communist astronaut, I'm sure, circling Uranus, like the little Klingon he is. It's just hysterical. I mean, these people are beyond cartoons. So Trump did egregious things challenging and threatening our Constitution and Republic. Because the worst-case scenario, Cosmo, is he got the Ukrainian president to maybe take a good look and peruse the landscape for any kind of illicit and illegal behavior, especially as it pertained to the election in 2016. You got that, Creepo? He wasn't going after Biden. Biden wasn't even on the radar when that this this all began with Ukraine. Biden hadn't been announced as a candidate for presidency. He had no intention of running back then. So the whole absolute perversion of truth here, when it was Obama wiretapping Trump, when it was the crooked rats in the FBI saying they weren't going to let Trump win, that they had insurance policies, that we were going to stop it, said Strzok to, 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 to his little girlfriend. 
and Brennan going on all the TV shows. A CIA, head of the CIA, going around like he was Jay Leno auditioning for The Tonight Show. These people are beyond, are beyond uh, psychopathy. And they keep finding people like this little cartoon character. And now he's going to escargate Alan Dershowitz. There's only one place for these people. It's a lunatic asylum inside a gulag.